Hi guys, this is Jose with Rack Prodigy. I'm here at the Fender Showroom and I'm gonna show you how to play Milestone 10. This is the song that you learn after lesson 21 where you learn uh, a lot about the major scale formula. So let's go to it. This is the first part of the song, which is the intro. <laughs> As you can see, I'm playing the major scale, the C major scale, starting from G to the C. I would recommend to play this in second position. So you will start with your pinky, two, one, pinky, two. And then the next section, you can just move your finger number two on the fifth and sixth strings. As you can see, my right hand is on top of the bridge because that helps me to play uh, when I play single notes rather than this. That might make it very, very difficult to get an, an accurate playing, you know? So I just keep this part of my palm on top of the bridge and I don't mind if it's muting the strings a little bit. Like that. Nothing too exciting, like that can barely, you can barely hear the notes, but just a tiny little bit. The second part of the song is a part that I designed for you to memorize um, how to play the major scale in different positions. In the lesson, you learn how to play the major scale here, in different places like that. So what we're going to do is that we're not going to play the whole scale right away, but we're going to start playing four or five notes of the scale. We're going to start playing this riff. And then we're going to play exactly the same notes, but in a different position. Then different octave. Then... And finally... Right? Note that in all of those different positions, we start on the note C. So this part is written for you to memorize where all the C's are and also how they are related to each other. See that this one right here, you start like five frets apart from this one. This one you start on the 10th fret, five frets apart from the 10th fret, 13th fret. So that helps you to memorize all those positions. On the third part of the song, we are actually going to play the whole scale. Now that we are more familiar on on, on those patterns of the scale where we just play four notes, we can go ahead and play the whole scale. Then in a different position. Then. So again, remember where the C's are. From the previous part and then you only have to add three or four more notes to memorize the whole scale. That's what we had earlier, now you have to add and here same thing. Part four in this song is completely different than the other three parts. See that the other ones we were playing one note at a time, we were playing single notes. Now we're gonna play strums. And I did that so we can review some of the strums and chords that we played in earlier, earlier uh, lessons. So in this section we're gonna play four chords. A minor, D, F, and C. And we're gonna play it with this kind of like gypsy rhythm that goes and I'm doing two or three things to, to get that kind of sound. First, on my left hand, I'm kind of like lifting the pressure a little bit on the chords when I play them, like see that I don't switch the position, I just kind of like release the pressure and play again so that mutes the, the, the sound of those three notes that I'm uh, playing in the chord And I do that for all the chords that I can. On the 
On the right hand, I'm gonna play this strumming pattern that is basically all downs, but I'm gonna keep my palm really, really close to the strings, so I mute them right away. I can go... Very slow will be... And then when you start playing fast, it goes... And also, because of the sound of the, of the thin pick, you know, that, um, the, the thin pick really, really helps me to get through the strings without it sounding too harsh. Sometimes when you use a thicker pick, it sounds way too much. You know, this makes, it, uh, um, makes me be able to, to play it very, very easily because it doesn't get stuck on the strings. So if you do those th three things together, you will get this sound. Well, that's it for Milestone 10. I hope all these, all these uh, tips will help you to play the song more effectively. And I hope this song serves the purpose of uh, helping you to learn the major scale and review those scores and keep improving your guitar playing and having fun at the same time. Please feel free to contact us at rockprodigy.com and keep up the good work. See you soon. Bye-bye.